Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and I'm a meteorologist. I am a person that studies the weather and uh, weather is just such a cool thing to know about and to study because uh, believe it or not, weather affects everything we do. So this pilot is in the cockpit looking at this thunderstorm cloud and the top of it is very, very flat, what we call the anvil head of a thunderstorm where it's like smoke rising to the ceiling and the smoke spreading out because the thunderstorm is just building up high, high, high. Look closely in the jug. There may be a cloud for me, okay? You ready? I'm gonna release it. You're gonna hear pss. And then look right here. Ready? One, two, see? Whoa. And uh, you hear, you know, thunder in the distance. But if that storm's getting closer to you and you start to, you know, feel the hair on the back of your neck stand up or the hair on your arm start to stand up, that's a pretty good sign that static electricity is starting to build in your area. That's what happened here right before the lightning struck. This is pretty neat. Tornadoes occur more in the United States than in any other part of the entire world. So we get more tornadoes than anybody else on Earth. Typically water spouts are harmless because they're on the open water, but sometimes they can pick up fish, turtles, maybe little crabs, suck them up from the lake or whether it be the ocean and deposit it on land. It's been known to rain frogs and fish before, so. Pieces of straw embedded within trees. And look at, the, look at these two pictures. That's how forceful the winds in a tornado can be, over 200 miles per hour. 